Hey guys, Zogi Sanchez and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I want to talk to you guys about this little game called House Flipper. I was fortunate to get the code from Frozen District, so shout out to them for sending me the code to try the game out and then give it this review. So we're going to talk about it, what I like about it, if I like it, what I think about it for you guys and if it's worth the, I think it's like six bucks right now on Steam, if it is worth the six dollars to actually go pick up House Flipper. Now I do know House Flipper 2 recently came out and that looks like a quite a big step like in an upgrade version of this House Flipper game. So overall right now the long and the short is it's fun but there's a few things that I'm not so keen on is especially when you get all these missions and stuff because you start out the game and you have a little bit of money and you have this like broken down shack and you've got a PC like a laptop that shack pretty much does nothing for you you can empty it out the only thing you need to keep is the PC in there that's the only way you can actually pick up jobs and stuff like that and then you get the jobs and they come in like a form of an email where they tell you how to do it everything they want what they want you to do there's no like secret hidden things which i found kind of disappointing if you ever played pc building simulator there was a few things you receive your your jobs through the mail as well but then you get these like hidden secret messages within the thing which is not an objective but they tell you like hey if you could make my pc green or blue with black cables or whatever there's like a little secret objective and then it kind of reflects at the end of the job in house flipper that doesn't happen so much you get the job and like there it is and then you got to go and paint stuff or demolish a wall or build this or put in a radiator fix this so you go to the mission you accept the job you load in and then there's like a progress bar and you don't even have to finish the job completely i've done jobs to test it you get to 75 percent and then the job's finished you can leave at that point the only reason for staying a little bit longer and actually doing the job 100 percent is you will get a little bit a little bit more balance or money whatever you want to call it you'll get a little bit bigger payout for finishing the job but you won't get like a confirmation email after the job and you won't get like a rating where it goes up or something like that you can pretty much just do half of what they said and they don't really care like they're going to be happy regardless so that was kind of a little bit disappointment for me as i thought the interaction of it is really nice and it's something i did enjoy about um, playing pc building simulator i believe the car wash simulator or the what's it the washing simulator that one is also got like the little secret stuff like that and they've got like a response in the messages from the jobs which i really do enjoy that is pretty fun but there is one nice thing that i really do like about the house flipper thing is it's super just relaxing so you can just go and play it and chill out a bit and as well you can also make your own house kind of a thing because you can buy plots from the pc if you come to the pc and you go over to the browser then you can see you have four purchase there's a lot of different plots available that you can go buy you can even list yours up for sale now i've customized mine a little bit and then i actually took this picture out of lost ark from my pc gallery so you can put in pictures into the game as like paintings and stuff so you can actually just make like your own little dream house if you really want to just see what it would look like or maybe a little apartment or something like that or even you know, like your preferred gaming room or whatever so it's a nice little thing to play around in that sense and then you just press tab and it brings up all the stuff like this the store actually has quite a large selection of different things this is like the recently ones so these are the recent stuff i have used for a job that i recently completed but as you see you can go to doors and it has a major selection of different doors and then there's different heights you go back there's glass walls installation stuff there's these are like the electric panels there's so much uh, customizability customizability is that a word customization there we go that's the word there's ladders and scaffoldings now these you use if you want to actually get a little bit higher up to clean stuff or paint stuff and then we've got all the accessories over here we've got bathrooms there's all the bathroom stuff furniture if you want to make like the cool lounge or something there's so much stuff look at all this list this list is massive it goes all the way down there's tvs and wall mounted tvs and radios and there's big kitchen like setups there's exhausts for for ovens and things like that then we have the living room again massive stuff in there sofas armchairs tables um this there's a lot of stuff and then there's also fences like this uh where is it i can't find the fences recreation so you can make yourself a little charcoal grill outside with a little outside area and also another thing to look at is the perks the perks are quite useful so if you do start playing this you definitely want to get these fast hands one of you to you'll make your cleaning a lot faster because cleaning is pretty much a big thing every single job you do you pretty much have to go and clean out whatever room and then you got to get to the building or fixing or whatever but you always got to clean so i would highly suggest getting the cleaning one first and maybe this one of yes you can see the dirt on the minimap i want to get that one next and then over here the long range is for the mop you get a newer mop like that 
upgraded because you pretty much start with a broom and it's really slow and then painting as well i got the faster painting and then this one over here your paint won't paint on already painted wall because this is kind of stupid you'll be painting a wall and it'll just like over paint the paint that you're on the same spot you have to see like visually that it's actually finished painting and then you move on yourself but if you click that then it just won't let you paint on the same spot if it's already fully painted so that one is pretty important i would say handyman we just got faster stuff if you had demolition faster stuff again i don't know what the muscle strength would do building uh the build so when you're building walls like that they are not painted so obviously if you are building a wall getting that saves you a lot of time because it means the wall once it's built it's going to be painted so i found that was a pretty cool perk over there and then negotiation over here you get a little bit of payment for all the jobs and then i just unlocked this now option to negotiate the price i haven't actually got around to trying this out but i assume you can just negotiate and try and get a higher price so that's pretty much all the stuff you can get from your tablet and then the bios of here i found this interesting if you look at them they tell a little bit of info about them like this personal info some of them have like a really interesting story 28 year old is real real man all right cool 70 year old retired one of them i can't remember where was it this guy was looking for like a specific house uh 40 year old buying houses for rent and then you could probably this one i believe looking for a modern and stylish house so maybe if he's looking for a modern stylish house you can come over to your pc and then you go to the browser and try and find yourself a decent looking house and you just fix it up modern and stylish you pull it up and then i'm assuming you can try and sell it over here on the soul thingy or own this is one i have if you go to that you can actually try and sell it so that is cool if you want to actually just play it as completely house flipping but you will need to complete a couple of jobs in the beginning as you don't start out with much cash cash i think around thirty thousand dollars is what you start with i've got about ninety two thousand there you can see in the top right screen but overall i would say it's a pretty fun game and for six dollars you can't really go wrong so my overall rating maybe about a six and a half out of ten is what i would rate it for just like it's fun it's relaxing it's not really complicated it's pretty easy to get into it and then if you do like building your own spaces like i said before to help you just you know try and get a cool idea for your house as i did just finish building my house irl2 so it was really cool to see how it all works and then it's also just a lot faster in game obviously because you don't have to go and pull in the man hours to get it done but that is it for this video hopefully it shed some light on the house flipper for you guys if you want to actually go ahead and try it up yourselves i do think house flipper 2 looks a lot lot better than this and they it did look like they have like the feedback from the messages like i was saying that i don't quite like from this one so i have to see in house flipper 2 if that one actually works maybe i can get a key for house flipper 2 and i'll try it out and i'll give you guys another little review video Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please drop a like and a sub to the channel. It helps me out so much, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Foggy say now. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying.